Welcome back to episode 2 of our Big Ambitions Challenge. In this action-packed installment, we power through the next three days of gameplay, making significant strides in our entrepreneurial journey. Join us as we purchase a much-needed bed, borrow a cart from the local furniture store, and clean up our shop's dirty floors. Watch as we push our limits, running out of energy a few times while working tirelessly to keep our store thriving during the first busy weekend. Don't miss this captivating episode as we continue our climb to the top of New York City's business world, right here on The Gray Cat. Alright, 7 o'clock. It did not take our energy all the way up. That's not good. We're probably not going to make it till midnight, which is tough because it's a Saturday. Alright, let's go ahead and get five food this time. We made $940 yesterday. That's pretty good for a first day. Uh, today we'll probably make more if we can stay open long enough. Let's go ahead and get it. Stop doing that. Alright, got five. Go to check out. Place the order. Alright, head up the street. We're going to put this in our shop. We might need to go by ahead and buy the bed, too. So we got to go to the pseudo Ikea to do that. It'll be like Aka Bohag, I think is the name of it. Which is basically pseudo Ikea. Hi, you're welcome. Okay. Thank you again. All right, so let's set our food back here. Place it right there. Uh, we can just leave that there. Let's grab the box. I don't think it'll let us. Oh yeah, it will. Okay. So that way when we come back, that hand truck will be gone. And then we can place these flowers back here. All right, so head on up to the uh let's go to the furniture store get the bed the bed's only four hundred dollars so the, f the refrigerator costs more but i have yet to see the food spoil in the game i don't want to cheese it too much and set 10 of them there <laughs> but you know five that's not too bad i guess all right so here's the uh akabo hag I've never actually been in an Ikea. There's none anywhere around. 9.53. Oh, it opens in... Oh, okay, it's open there. All right. Just a few minutes we had to wait. All right, so we're going to go over here. There's the bed. Get a rug for $30. Maybe that would help her with her uh, decorations, but I don't want to waste a box. All right, so we can only carry four at a time on a hand truck. I wonder if these carts carry more than four. Hmm. Oh, the carts carry eight. Okay, we'll take our we'll take this cart over to the warehouse. That's I, that's a cheat that I did not know about. I hope it lets us take it in there. If not, we can always just grab it and stick it on a hand truck. Alright, here we go. We left the pseudo Ikea. Anyway, I was saying, I, I've never been in Ikea, but I've heard some of the other players say that it kind of looks like an Ikea on the inside. So. There's that. Okay, and I think if we just keep going this way. We will come to the warehouse. I think I'm in the right place. Yeah, because this is the big avenue. Sixth Avenue is the divided highway. Okay, it's just a few more, a couple more blocks over, I think. Okay. 
We're gonna buy as many as we can afford. We have enough food for a few, couple, three days, four days, maybe. We have fifteen ninety nine. Oh, that's it. Just got that one. So we were able to buy four. Okay. This is more than we had. I don't know if you noticed, but like when we were in there, the bed was a white card and the flowers were a yellow card. So that shows you that you know, we already we've already paid for the bed. We don't have to pay for the bed again. Of course, I'm getting hit by the van. Door. Let's place the bed, rotate it around, we'll put it right there for now, uh, grab our cart, let's see, we want to put it where the, uh, where we can still grab our food, park that. One on there. Add item to storage. It won't let us. We're in. Ah, really? Place. Grab the truck. Bring it over here. Let's see. Yeah, it's not going to let us add it to it there. So we'll put it there. Okay, now. Grab. Nope. That one. This one. Now put okay, so now we got it all on there. So let's park it over here. Park it. Uh we've got plenty of food, so let's go into our schedule. It is already three oh seven, so that's not great. Uh we can get rid of that one. Honestly. Not that one. Why did we get rid of that one? Three to twelve. So get on the register. Might not do as well today as we did yesterday, but we shall see. Friday's a pretty, pretty busy day, so maybe we will. If we go into a con overview, you can see uh, Gray's Flowers nine forty four, and it'll break it down for you. We had fourteen fifty in sales. Uh, we paid nineteen ninety seven rent. That's great great rent on this building. Uh, the cost of our flowers that we sold was four eighty five eighty eight, and that's where our profit comes from. And also, another thing that I like to look at is the customers over time. And so you'll see we had a really busy time, well, three. We had three customers in the 11 o'clock hour. I think that means between 11 and 12. And then we had four customers up here let's see that one is i think it starts at three three to four and then four to five this will be five to six this will be six to seven and then so from no yeah that's seven to eight right there and so from eight to nine we had uh, four customers so pretty busy in the evenings we'll see how today goes Friday evening, I would assume, would be pretty busy. Grab a drink of coffee real quick. As you can see, they are telling us their walls and floors are ugly. Eventually, you know, we can design it. That'll probably be the last thing we do. We want to get another shelf in here so that we can sell expensive flowers. Oh, I don't have it. We've got to go by a cleaning station. I don't know if you can see this, but there is a little bit of grit and grime around the shelf there. They might start telling us that, too. This place is dirty. Not especially with all the traffic we're getting. And there's 40. We've had. That's 40 for the day, and we just sold another three. And you know what? I forgot.
have to raise the price on it. Let's see if they're still in high demand. Cheap flower, not quite as high, 1.2. Alright, 724, so not quite as good as yesterday. Uh, we can check since it's after midnight. We can check in here. Yeah, we had uh, almost 40 customers yesterday and only 30 today. Uh, we did have five in one hour. That would be, I think, between six and seven. So pretty good. And we, we have enough. Uh, the way the customer capacity works is like some things don't have a 15, will not support 15 capacity. Like, um, I'm trying to think, oh, like a wine shelf. So if we had started a liquor store and got a wine shelf, I'm pretty sure that one wine shelf will only support 10 customers per hour. So we would need two to actually reach our 15 customer capacity. And we'll, we can check here, see. So in two days, we've sold 103. And we have 176 remaining, so that's pretty good. All right, so in the morning, we need to go buy a cleaning space. And I think we got enough stock to get through the weekend. So let's go ahead and take a nap. Let's see, we, let's go ahead and we only have to go down to the other end of the street, so 745, I'm pretty sure they open at 8, let's check, before we make the decision, is this building, Aquarius Appliances, oh they open at 9, oh but we're right here across the street from AJ Peterson, they open at don't think they do. No, they do not. So we have to go down to the other one. Alright, that's fine. And they, but they don't have no nine, so we can sleep until, we'll sleep till, let's go ahead and get the eight hours. Okay, eight hours and two minutes. That would, be, that would probably be about right as, as far as getting there by nine. Oh, shoot, we need to eat, we need to eat. We are low on food. And if we don't eat, our energy will go down very, very quickly. All right, place that back. Now we go. All right, so we're heading down this way, going back to Square Appliances. It's nasty in here. This way. You'll see it disappearing. In the dirt. And then usually over here by the door in the shopping basket, you'll have some. 98. One minute right there. 100%. Discard. Get on the register. Open up. Saturday, in this well, even though it's 1043, we want to open immediately, so we'll put 10. Okay. 
forward. Drink your coffee. Walls and floors are still ugly. It's still quiet with no music. Don't worry, we'll fix it up. I did not uh, replenish the stock this time. Eleven point five. Eighteen. Okay, I think we started with twenty-two. No, that was the first day. I think we sold forty-five yesterday. So it should have started with thirty-five, maybe. Oh, and it just replenished itself. So wow. You can't really find out in real time. This is the only way is to check the rack um, because the the stats that it gives the game gives you is only available after midnight. I'm getting hungry. Once our food runs out, our energy will start going faster. So it'll be close as far as last. I'm pretty sure it'll last till midnight. going to be tight. It's moving fast now. Yeah, I think we're going to make it. Maybe, maybe not. No, we are not going to make it. Oh, insufficient energy. And so we're going to lose a customer because of it. Insufficient energy. We're just going to stand there and wait. Can't find any cash register. I know. I'm sorry. So we're gonna go ahead and close. Now nah, we're. We'll just sleep. So we'll get to sleep. Uh, we'll get our eight hours. What do we need to do? Let's see. Thirty-five. And then we got two more boxes here. Are both of those full? No. So we got. 62 there. Oh, look at all the customers we're losing. Alright. $1,239. I knew Saturday would be a great day. And then and we lost some customers at the end. So, let's see. Oh, wow. 56 customers for the day. I don't know if that counts the ones. Uh, and there we had six customers an hour. They're around eight or nine. Pretty good. Inventory, 97. This is what's in the boxes plus what's on the shelf. Uh, 79. So I think we sold 76 today. Pretty good. So people were buying multiples. That's always good. Uh, and you'll see we had 1,900 in sales. 20 rent. 637-ish for the cost on the flowers. So 1243. Great day. Great day. We need to go buy more flowers. I'm going to take this rack with me. Okay. So, let's wake up at 7.02. Get up to the place as early as possible. Alright. Manage storage. Place that over here. Manage storage. Place that over there. Grab a bite to eat real quick. Put that back down. Grab a cart. Yeah, I had not. Um, yeah, this is a little cheat, I guess. Because this holds as much as a car. And a car costs $2,500. Now, it's not as fast as a car. But, I mean, it really doesn't take that much longer to walk it than it does to drive it. You gotta find it. You gotta get it. Well, you don't have to get a parking place at the place because you can actually drive your car in. Which is 
off. Alright. Head back to the flower. Buy all we can afford. Or as many as our cart will hold, whichever comes first. And this is even better than the car because you have to get in the car to see how much you owe. Alright, eight. We can we can buy eight. We can buy a whole carload. is awesome. I never even thought about that. I never really paid attention to how much the, one of these held. See, I'd always kind of went for an early purchase of a car, not necessarily because it was that much faster, but because it held the eight items. You steal a cart from a, the uh, pseudo Ikea, and you can carry eight items. a pretty good little exploit. Maybe they will reduce that. Maybe the car should hold 10 and this thing should hold 6 or something like that. Kind of to take away that little, little exploit. Alright, so let's get in here. Sunday should be another busy day. Not quite as busy as Saturday, but pretty busy. Alright, a few over here. Sweep up. All right, good. What we got here? We got 35. Let's get on the register. I know it's close. We're getting ready to open. Sunday, 10 to 12 again. Okay, we'll see about the, let's see if the energy in the food works. Walls and floors are so ugly here. I know. Hello, welcome to the stream. I'm trying to log into the chat. I'm not sure if I can see it or not. Insufficient energy at 10 o'clock. Oh no. Okay, close it up. Seven. This will be the most sleep we've got since we opened the shop. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me in today's episode of our Big Ambitions Challenge. I hope you enjoyed this thrilling journey as we tackled the hardships of building a business empire from scratch. Which reminds me, why not scratch that like button? And if you don't want to miss a single step of this exciting adventure, Make sure to claw the subscribe button and turn on notifications. Got any tips, strategies, or just want to share your thoughts? Drop a comment below and let's grow together. Tune in to the next episode as we continue to conquer the concrete jungle of New York City. We will dream big, work hard, and never give up. Until next time, this is the Grey Cat signing off. And remember, have a great day.